Hi friends, welcome to this tutorial of this Orion. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to export your designed structural drawing from Orion to AutoCAD. So these are slab that we have designed. So quickly, you're going to go to your file tab. Go to your file tab. Go to export. Go to models like file export so you go to export dxf so you're going to click on dxf now this box pops up so we have filter we have group object now this edit to view is checked already now i'm going to leave that to be checked because i want to edit my structural drawing make some changes add some few text in autocad so it's going to say group drawing object I'm going to check that because if I'm going to check this box here it's going to group all the objects into like a block object in in AutoCAD and I don't want that because I'm going to end up going to be exploding it so I'm going to uncheck this so as I've checked it now all objects is going to come with a single entity on their own so now this is a file name so if you want to browse you're going to still go into browse wherever you want to save this file at so after you've done all these settings so i'm going to say okay i'm going to say okay you're going to say okay now but if you want to filter uh, what needed to be exported you can say okay uh, i i don't want transfer hidden axis don't want transfer on use axis i want to filter the slab strips if you want to and this pre checked box here is okay by me. I want to say okay, so I'm going to click on okay. Now it's going to take it directly to AutoCAD. Now, these are file that has been launched in AutoCAD, so this already been exported to AutoCAD. Now, if you look the at the top of this AutoCAD, we have already 2017 is a file name. Now, the plan which is 01 is on a DXF. So it's on the DXF. So now we want to save this as a DWG file. So you have to go to save as this my save as button. So I'm going to go to save as. Now I'm going to browse to where I want to save my file. You have to have your file name, the folder you want to save your file. Now I want to save my files at. Uh, maybe I want to save them at. Uh, that's my particular. Um, file here i'll just say okay i want to save them in this my folder which is calvin this is my name calvin so this is my folder that's okay i want to save it there so i'm going to say okay now the file type that you want to save it i can say okay i'm going to save it as 2000 and um 2007 because so that whoever that is opening this file can be able to open it in uh any other AutoCAD versions higher than 2017 that's why I'm like saving my 2017 I don't even know if somebody else is using 2004 so I like 2007 so that all other versions this particular drawing file will be able to open on them so I'm going to choose my folder that I want to save it at, and I'm going to say save is opening so this is a folder is opening so I'm going to say save it there so you can see now it has converted it to dwg so this my file is now a dwg file so i'm going to go in if you want to edit anything you want to edit make it neat nice and neat you're going to go into the file maybe i want i don't want this i want to turn it off so i'm going to go to this and when i'm going to click on delete i'm going to make it very neat i'm going to make it a little bit neat now there is a first way to just do that to do that you just go into your layers just click on your layers it's coming up so this is my layer I'm going to move that a little bit and dock it so I'm going to dock it here now I'm going to make this to I want to see more so I'm going to expand this I'm going to click on this to make it a little bit close now I want to turn off some particular things that I don't want like this length I don't want it so I'm going to check on which layer is a rebar length bottom. So I'm going to go to rebar, rebar length bottom. So the rebar length bottom, I'm going to look for it. Look for it, rebar length 
the bottom here so I'm going to look for it I'm going to look for that because we have a lot of um, layers here so you're going to take some time let me expand this a little bit so that I'm going to it's not going to be it's going to be easy for me to just go so this is the reba length bottom so reba length bottom I'm going to turn this off no that's not it so I'm going to go click on it reba length text bottom sorry so that's it text the text at the bottom so I'm going to turn this off so you see that disappears so I want this also to go off so I'm going to go to the Dean which is Dean so I'm going to pull the scroll bar up I'm going to pull it up up I'm going to look for Dean this is my Dean I'm going to turn that off so I'm trying to just make it look a little bit neat so that I can make some few changes add some few text and my print will be okay to be set for printing so that this is my yield line so slab yield so I'm going to look for slab yield so I'm going to look for slab yield make sure I turn it off so this is my slab yield I'm going to look for that I'm going to look for slab yield this slab yield now you can see all my slab yields are turned up because when I'm going to make my structural print that yield lines will not be there so this is how to export your drawings that has been done in Orion to AutoCAD in our next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to export beams and beam sections and column sections that have been designed to AutoCAD see you in our next tutorial